Hello, and welcome to The Wild Side of Fairfax County. I'm your host, Katherine Edwards. In today's program, we'll focus on our local fox population. Joining us today to share some information on this animal is Tony Bulmer, a naturalist with the Fairfax County Park Authority. Thanks for being with us, Tony. No problem. Tony, there are two species of fox that make their home in Fairfax County. Can you tell us what they are? The two species that we have are the common gray fox and the introduced red fox. Which type is more frequently seen within the county? The red fox is definitely um, seen more. The gray fox is very secretive. So nine times out of 10, it's probably the red fox. Look for that white tip on the tail and that tells you it's a red fox. And what is the importance of foxes? What is their role in the ecosystem? They have a really important role in Fairfax County ecosystem. And I'd say the main things are small mammal control and seed dispersal in the forest. Now I know that foxes are omnivores, meaning they eat both plants and other animals. In urban settings such as Fairfax County, what do foxes typically eat? Well, where there's people, unfortunately, there's trash. And they're definitely opportunistic. They'll go in dumpsters. Um, they also have to be careful about leaving food out for your cat or your dog. They'll feed on that. But generally, they're still focusing on the small mammals and things like rats that are in your backyard. So they're really beneficial to humans, even in an urban situation. That's great. Do they have a preferred habitat type? They do. I think the neatest thing as a naturalist is these two animals are the, basically the same size, but they can coexist. Generally, the red fox will be in the field, in the forest edge, but the gray foxes need the hardwood forest because they have retractable claws. They can go right up a tree, and you need trees to feel safe if you have those claws. What does a typical den site look like for a fox? Um, foxes generally pick a sloping section of the hill. Um, red foxes will have a den site that has over five entrance and exit, exits, where the gray fox just has one entrance and one exit. Great. Now, are there certain times of year that foxes are most active and therefore more likely that people might see them out and about in Fairfax County? Well, generally, they're, well, they're definitely active all year round. But generally, the sightings are reported at Eleanor Lawrence Park, for instance, um, during February and March. And that's when they're forced to be out bringing food back to their, their newborn babies. So seeing foxes active throughout the year uh, within the county is not really a cause for alarm? Not at all. We frequently see them in the daytime as well as night. Thanks for that information, Tony, and thanks for being with us today. No problem. Wildlife is an asset and a part of our natural heritage in Fairfax County to be enjoyed by many. Increased urbanization of areas such as Fairfax County puts people in closer contact with wild animals and increases opportunities for human wildlife conflicts. Semi-tame wildlife that have altered their behaviors in response to humans can become a liability. In our next segment, we'll explore this aspect related to foxes and offer tips on how to deter this animal from making their home on your property.